Mediocre Man channel here. That's a, that's a big close-up, isn't it? All right, so what we have is the Trailmaster 150 XRX, and I'll explain the difference between the XRS and the XRX. They're the same, it's the same gold cart. The XRX has additional features. Skid plate, horn, fancy steering wheel, which I'll show you in a second. And then lights, which uh, my uh, the guy that had sold it to me, we had an argument about whether the lights come with it or not. He ultimately gave it to me, but I didn't put it on. I don't really need it because I don't drive at night. It already has lights. And then the speedometer. So for those features, it's an extra 200 bucks. Well worth it because if you bought them individually, they would uh, cost a lot more. Let me show you the steering wheel. How cool is that steering wheel? How cool is that? If I could, I'd eat it. I would uh, sleep with it at night. I think that is the coolest looking steering wheel. Just the steering wheel, wheel alone is worth it to me, um, even though I can't say steering wheel. And uh, you could just get the steering wheel online as a part for about 60 bucks. So if all you want is the cool steering wheel, then you can save yourself some money. Top five things I love about this go-kart. Number one, I love the way it looks. I like it because it doesn't have any of the plastics on it. It's raw looking. It looks like a dune buggy. Number two, I love the way it drives. The back tires release real nice, so you get to do these fishtails, which to me is the most fun. Number three, you can get parts for it. It's been around for almost 10 years now, so if there's a part you need, there's a number of websites you can order it. You can get it within a reasonable period of time so that you can fix it. Number four, starts right up. Doesn't give any issues in that regard. Haven't had to mess with the carburetor, so I'm really happy with that. I have 120 miles on it. I've had it for a couple of months and uh, no issues. I can't remember number five. What was number five? What was number five? What was number five? What was number five? Oh. Man, it was like the most important thing, too. Ah. Number five, now I remember. This is the main thing. The seat adjusts. And it adjusts really well so that my 13-year-old can fit in it perfectly when we move it forward. And I'm almost 6'2". And when I move it back, I'm very comfortable. Very comfortable. Probably someone even 6'4 could fit in this and be comfortable. So to have a go-kart that the whole family can use, uh, I just think that's great because what you want is a seat that adjusts from 36 inches to 43 inches, which is what this is, or you could get one that goes to 45 inches, which would be a little bit better. That's the blazer, but I don't like the way the blazer looks. So if you at least have 43 inches from the seat to the pedal and you're about 6'2", you're still gonna fit in it. So. Anyone really from five feet tall to six feet tall and above fits in the go-kart. That's great. So you don't have to have two go-karts if you don't want to spend the money. So that's the good part. All right. Now I'm going to, I'm going to get some footage. These flies are killing me. I'm going to get some footage. Uh, I'm doing this all myself. So I'm going to get some GoPro footage and some footage going that way. And uh, just thought I'd show you a little more close up. I put those uh, seatbelt pads on there just to add a flash of color on the seats. You know, I was under the impression that the XRX was all red, didn't come with a black frame, but um, for some reason it does. I don't really know why. Uh, still looks cool. I like it. And uh, I think it's pretty hard to get these in California right now because uh, it was the 2018 that passed the emissions package, and I don't believe 2020 does. So that might be a little bit of an issue if you live in California. like that smooth camera pan All right. pretty cool machine relatively affordable uh, all the go-karts are about the same price if you're getting an adult go-kart they range basically between two grand and four grand depending on what you're getting
130 miles, let's go. nice on the gravel. whippers because the branches tend to whip you in the face. I should trim it but being the mediocre man haven't done it yet. I like this because you're low down in the bushes can't see anything. Oh hope we don't hit any rattlesnakes. Whoa whoa went the wrong way but that's all right. Go this way no rules. Whoa. Back through the dust. Wait. Oh. Really do need to trim that. All right.